what's up guys, it's Tadis Musashi and today I'm gonna show you guys the Pearson Sniper build! Do you see this heavy ball gun right here? That's right, that's the Lega Shadow Chris and this one gonna make you play just like a true sniper rifle. Uh, if you're planning to use Piercing Ammunition, in this case Piercing Ammunition 3, that's the best heavy ball gun for you! Now let me show you guys its features. The Liga Shadow Christ comes with a total attack of 255 with 10% affinity. If you have the affinity increase augment, which I highly recommend for this build. We have one level 1 jewel slot, we have no deviation at all, and as custom mods we're using one shield, one recoil suppressor, and one rented attack up. The special ammo is the Wyvern Heart, which is uh, sad, because as we're playing as a sniper, it would be better if you have the Wyvern's knife, but it won't make it. And that much of a difference. Uh, with all these uh, pieces and skills together, we managed to get a total attack of 300 points and 35% affinity. Uh, that's not counting the 50% that comes with the weakness exploit and the 15% that comes with the agitator level 5, which is gonna be uh, present during uh, most part of the fight. Uh, this uh, Lega Shadow Christ also has 6 uh, bullets on the magazine for the piercing ammunition 3, which gonna make your DPS uh, awesome. Like you're gonna be shooting like always, and the reload speed is fast, so you will not have any problems. This build is incredibly easy to play with and gonna make you have a great time. Now let me show you guys the other piece that we have in this setup right here. So here we have the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, the Brigade Sweet Beta, the Nergigante Embraces Alpha, the Nergigante Coil Beta. The Nergigante Grievous Alpha and the Challenger Charm 2. Now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have the Nergigante Hunger 3 that regenerates your health as you continually attack a monster. The recovery varies by weapon but in this case every 4 or 5 shots is gonna be recovering health. We have Attack Pulse Level 5 that increases your attack by 15 points and affinity by 5%. We have Agitator level 5, that while active grants you additional attack of 20 points and an affinity of 15%. It always activates when monsters get enraged, which is like most of the parts of the fight. We have Weakness Exploit level 3, that increases your affinity by 50% when you hit weak spots of the monster. We have Maximum Might level 2, that increases your affinity by 20% when your stamina bar is full. We have Piercing Shots level 1, that increases the power of piercing ammunition by about 10%. <clears throat> we have Divine Blessing level 1 that reduces damage taken by 15% while active. And we have the Mind's Eye Ballistics level 1 that shortens the distance before ammunition reaches the maximum power. In this case, in this build, this is gonna be a very important skill because uh, the critical distance for a piercing ammunition tree is really, really far from the monster and sometimes it's uh, hard to, to be in this exactly, exact distance. So, with the Mind's Eye Ballistics skills, you're gonna be doing like maximum damage whenever you close far mid range, it doesn't matter. You have a, a very nice range to work with this build. Now, let me show you guys the decorations that you use in this setup right here. So, here we have two attack jewels one that increase your attackable skill. We have one piercing jewel three that increase your piercing shot skill. We have one mind's eye jewel two that increase your mind's eye ballistic skill. We have one Tenderizer Duel 2 that increases your weakness exploit skill. And we have one Mighty Duel 2 that increases your maximum might skill. So that's pretty much it guys, now I'm gonna show you guys some few clips of me fighting some Tempered Elder Dragons, so you can actually witness the true power of this build right here. So thank you for watching guys and I'll check this out!